Now to find the length of an arc, uh, there are two formulas. So in one of the videos, I showed you these two formulas. Length of an arc has this formula pi r theta over 180 if theta is in degrees. And it can also be r theta, r times theta, that theta is in radians. If it's in radians, we use this formula. And if it's in degrees, we use this formula. Well, basically, you can do without this formula. I like to remember formulas, but at times, I would also like to understand the logic, or if, if you can avoid formula, that would be great. Now, the question is, find the length of an arc of a circle with radius 6 centimeters. So this is a radius of 6 centimeters. And the angle subtended is 30 degrees. So this is an, the question is, you want to find this the length of this arc. Okay, so let me change color. So let me make this blue. So this is the length of the arc that we want to find. So this is the arc, or this is the length we want to find, which is a part of a circle with center, uh, part of a circle with radius 6 centimeters. And the angle that this arc subtends at the center is 30 degrees. So we want to find this length. So let us call that, say, x. So let us, that is x. So we can find the find this x or the length of this arc without using the formula by using simple logic. Now imagine suppose this is a point A, and imagine the particle moves from A anticlockwise. If it moves anticlockwise, one full rotation, it will cover how much distance? So if it starts from A, it's going anticlockwise. It travels and comes back. What's the distance it travels from A back to A? Well, the distance it travels is the circumference. So let me write C for circumference. The circumference of a circle, you should be knowing, is 2 pi r. Okay. So using logic, I can say, uh, let me make, suppose, uh, a ratio. I can say when a, a particle moves 360 degrees, it has covered a distance of 2 pi r. So this is your theta, or this is your angle. The particle moves, angle is in theta, I suppose. And this is uh, the distance. Circumference is a distance, OK? So if you make a ratio, I can say when a particle moves 360 degrees, it has moved a distance of 2 pi r. So my question is, if a particle moves 30 degree, what is the distance? And that is say x. So this is this has become a simple example of ratio. So I can say now, therefore, well, uh, if I treat this as a ratio, I can say 360 over 30 is equal to 2 pi r over x. So let us simplify the left hand side. So 30 you can divide. Uh, 30 goes in 30 once, and 30 goes in 360. Uh, 12 times. Okay, so can I say 12 over 1 is equal to 2 pi r over x. So this, you can cross multiply now. So this and this can be multiplied. And this and this can be multiplied. So it's, oops, this and this can be multiplied. So this is cross multiplying. So this implies 12x is equal to 2 pi r. OK? And now you can divide both sides by 12 to get rid of this 12. So divide by 12, divide by 12. So this is x is equal to, uh, this is 1 sixth pi r. 1 sixth pi r. Now r we know is how much? 6 centimeters. OK? So this is x is equal to 1 sixth times pi times 6. Therefore, x is pi. Or we can say this is 3.14 centimeters in 2 dp. Now, if you think about it, it's simple. You can do without this if you use a little of logic. Now, 30 is how much of 360? So if you divide. So when a particle moves 360 degree, it is 
2 pi r, the question is when it moves 30 degree, how much is the uh, distance it covers? So, well, you can also think it logically. 30, 30, 30 is how much of 360? Okay, so that is 1 twelfth of 360. So, basically to x is nothing but without doing even this you can say it's one twelfth of two pi r okay which is which is one sixth of pi r and that's what we got it's one sixth pi r so it's simple logic that if 30 is one twelfth of 360 so x would be one twelfth of two pi r and one twelfth of two pi r is one sixth of pi r which is one sixth times pi times r is 6 so x is nothing but pi so i try to explain this in a different way so you don't have to remember any formula simply using as a proportion now here in this next example let's see what happens uh, here you got a circle with radius 10 centimeters so your r is 10 centimeters and the angle theta suppose this is the angle theta and this is your r your theta is 3 pi by 5 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this is in radians so we are applying the same logic so well you can say let us make up two columns so this is one for angle which is theta and the other is for distance okay now this is what we want to find so let us say this is a d d for distance okay let me change color we want to find this distance from here to here oops i hope you understand from here to we find that what this is a a and this is b so we want to find the distance how much the particle moves from a to b so well we you should be knowing that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians okay one full term which is 360 in radians is 2 pi so now you have to think in terms of radians so i can say when a particle moves 2 pi radians the distance it travels is 2 pi r so the question is when it is 3 pi by 5 what's the distance so that is we are calling that as d so this distance from a to b is b sorry d so using ratio, so it is 2 pi by 3 pi by 5 is equal to 2 pi r over d. Now, this is this is the same as 2 pi, 3 pi by 5 is, so let me explain that, 3 pi by 5 is same as 6 pi by 10. So this is nothing but 0 0.6 pi. So this is 0 0.6 pi is equal to 2 pi r so let me write r how, how much is r r is 10 so 2 pi times 10 uh, my pen is playing up 2 pi this is 2 pi this is 2 pi hopefully I want the pen to behave hopefully it will behave no it's not behaving something has happened to the okay so i'll try so 2 times pi times 10 over d okay so what has happened to the pen okay okay hopefully it will behave now yeah it has started behaving okay so this is equal to so let me use a calculator so this is pi and pi gets cancelled this pi and pi gets cancelled uh, so this is 2 divided by so 2 divided by 0 0.6 so let me use a calculator 2 divided by 0 0.6 is 3 and 1 third okay so this is has become a bit tricky so this is okay so let me cross multiply so this is uh, so 2 over 0 0.6 is equal to 2 
times pi times 10 over d. So cross multiplying, so 2d is equal to 2 times pi times 10 times 0.6. So let me get a calculator. So 2 times 10 times 0 0.6 is 12 okay so this is a neat number so 2d is equal to 12 pi 2d is equal to 12 pi so d is equal to 6 pi so 6 pi is in centimeters yeah so 6 pi centimeters you can leave this as the answer so if if suppose you use the formula where r say D according to formula is R times R times theta, which is 10 times 3 pi by 5, which is nothing but uh, 30 pi by 5, which is the same answer, which is 6 pi. So the neat thing about a formula is you don't need to go through the thinking process. But for people who like thinking, how you get the answer. Yeah, you don't have to remove any formula, you'd only go to make a ratio and get the answer.